But anyway, you know, uh, the, the principal here at Char High School came across something uh, from the archives a long, long time ago. It is a, a 1973 Shaw High School yearbook. And for those of you who, you know, don't think I went to Shaw or I was ever a young man, here's a picture of me. <laughs> here's a picture of me. Oh, there you are. Hey, wait. Look at that. Look at that picture. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, uh, <laughs> but un unfortunately, that's the only picture in, in the yearbook of me. I, I guess I was one of those students who showed up and then left. But I did. I had to work, you know. So, you know, I, I, I had to work. I started working in 10th grade. I am with one of my favorite people in all the earth, on all the earth right now, uh, Dr. David Hunter. Uh, he was a teacher here at Shaw High School when I was here, and he doesn't even look, he looks my age. That's incredible. Uh, Mr. Hunter, first of all, thank you for, for showing up this morning. Appreciate right. it. Now, you, you taught a science class, and, and I was in that science class. Yes. What was the name of that class? Horticulture. Horticulture, which, which basically was like a, a, you know, agriculture type of situation, right. right? We had to go out and do yard work and all that we stuff? We had to spend uh, every morning in the classroom, then afternoon, actually, library, school, any nonprofit, and you were part of that. Now, what kind of student was I back then? Uh, very serious, <laughs> even at that time. You played when I wasn't around. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but that was a great time. Yeah, it was a great time, and, and th those were different days. Now, now you were back uh, in, in the day when, when there was a different high school here, yeah. as I was. This is right. a brand new high school now. What, what, what's your impression of, of what they've done here at Shaw High? I, I like the building aspect. I'm not too impressed with what I see in terms of students. We had 2,800 students when I left Shaw High School. Okay. And now we have basically not that many in the whole system. Wow, that's crazy. So we, we've taken a hit as far as population and student enrollment and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, one thing that's interesting, and, and, and we're in the gym now, you were a basketball coach. You were the yeah. JV basketball JV coach you back then. For two years. And some, of the, some of the great players that you coached. Bruce Coffey. Yes, yes. Cartel Brown. Mm -hmm. Those are two that stand out. Those are like East Cleveland legends. Right, yeah. right. Another thing about you is, as a teacher, you lived in the neighborhood. Lived in the neighborhood, had a basketball go in the back of my a house, and mm -hmm. the kids came over for barbecue, play mm -hmm. basketball, mm -hmm. never had any problem. And you lived on Alder, which is you know, down the way, and I lived on Orinoco, but then you moved into the Forest Hill area, which yes. is a beautiful area. You, you know, t talk about that Forest Hill area. Why it, the houses are so nice up there? It's strange, Wayne. I drove by the inter, when you go up the road there for 10 years or more, never knew anything up there. And I had a chance to go looking for a home, and I found one up on the hill, mm -hmm. as they say. Mm -hmm. And basically, it was a whole area that I love, and I've been there since 1977, mm -hmm. and uh, love it, and uh, like the area, all my neighbors and all, most of them have been there. And believe it or not, we're integrated. Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. lot of times, people to give the negative aspect about East Cleveland, but my street is still 50% mm -hmm. minority, 50% white. Now, you've been in East Cleveland as a resident for 54 Four years. years. You're probably years. one of the longest, uh, longest residents in this area. I've been here and I've seen Civic Association, Roselle, Chambers, all of that, and uh, I believe that the city can still come back. Okay, what do you think it's going to take? It's going to take some, uh, number one, the idea that we're not going to end next to Cleveland. That's okay. been a far so far. Mm -hmm. And secondly, because people that bought land that hoping that for that, Interchain with Cleveland will sell the land, build some houses, and let the areas uh, of Euclid uh, come back to life. Why have you stayed all these years? I stayed because, number one, I, I still believe in East Cleveland. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the, the sign, the shadow is going down, but uh, I still believe in that. And somewhere along the line, I think East Cleveland can come back. And that's what I'm hearing from a lot of people as I, you know, move about the city. There's still hope that the city can make a resurgence because when I grew up here, it was a great city. I said earlier, when we moved to East Cleveland, I thought, I thought we were rich. Right, Because right. it's such a nice area <laughs> it back was, there. It yeah, was, yeah. yeah. I appreciate you, sir. All right. Thank thanks you for so everything much. you've done. All right. And to help in my development. And even spiritually. And even spiritually. He's a pastor, too, as well. So. Wayne was always come with it. When I, was, I had a chance to preach coach in the team, the basketball team would always come to help me preach. Wayne came along. <laughs> and look where he started. Yeah. He being a pastor. I know. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so yeah, hey, you know what? There's a lot of hope here at East Cleveland. There's no doubt about that. So, and because of that hope, as I said earlier, I think the city's going to rise like a phoenix. It yes. just takes direction. That's the name of the game. Absolutely. There you go. It takes leaders. Yeah. All right, cool yep. stuff. All right, Wayne, thank you. We'll check back with you.